about how to speed up any single player game, kind of like you would do with Cheat Engine on Windows. Running around, this is the usual speed as you can see, and you die for example at some fight, and you need to do it again and again, it really gets annoying very quickly. This back button here, extremely comfortable. Proton speed hack, just hold it, and everything happens 2.5 times faster. Whatever needs to be done works perfectly. I really enjoy it like this. It became a way more enjoyable game for me just because I don't need to hassle with like a slow speed of the game, which drives me crazy. As you can see, this is my normal speed of running around. But if I click L5, everything becomes 2.5 times faster. And of course, enemy also shoot 2.5 times faster. So it's just the game speed is fast. So if you need to wait for something, skip some animations, it would be perfect for stealth games, I believe. Right now I'm walking, I'm not speeding the game up. And you want to be stealthy, but you don't want to spend too much time on it. And I'm crouching and I'm moving slow, but then I speed the game up 2.5 times. And it's my walking speed, basically. Proton speed hack, download it from GitHub and pack it into the folder, which is written in a GitHub page. Make sure to restart Steam, then use it as a compatibility layer, Proton Speed Hack for any game you need to, especially if it's the DRM-free GOG release or something similar. And that's it. Hey, hey people, Alex from Ganj Games here. And today I will show you a trick which you didn't know that you need. It's kind of like a mouse region trick very easy but is extremely useful and is extremely comfortable as you can see for example i'm using right now mouse region for my course or position here if you want to know about more mouse region just check out the video on my channel about it it's really 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 useful this trick is about how to speed up any single player game kind of like you would do with cheat engine on windows so if you don't like the game speed for whatever reason if you don't like that it's slow, that cutscenes are slow, that dialogues are slow, animations are slow. If you don't like to commute in a game and run from left to right or wherever you need to run and it feels very slow. If it's a single player game and it can be hacked with cheat engine, basically you can do the same with this Proton Speed Hack. The essence of it is very simple. First I'll show you how to install it and how to use it. And later I will showcase it in multiple games. So first what you will need, you can type it in Google or something. Basically you need to go to this page, github lt squigs slash proton speed hack. So lt squigs, thanks a lot for making this happen. After you find it, you can scroll down and check how to actually install it. So we go to installation and it's quite simple. You will go to release pages which is this page, and you download this Proton Speedhack 8.0-5. You download this archive, it's Linux archive, so you just download it. Definitely read the instructions. The thing is quite simple. Basically, you'll need to unpack this archive in this folder, which will add it to the Proton list. And later inside the game, you will be using page up button for actually turning this hack on. And there are more details on how to customize this if you need it, but actually I didn't customize anything and it's already perfect for me as it is out of the box. So once again, we download the release, we create this directory if it doesn't exist. Most likely it exists already because uh, you have some of your Proton compatibility layers installed there, at least I did. Then you would extract it in there and I did it with this command. So basically you would put the archive in there open the terminal there, navigate to the folder so the terminal would know where to and how to unpack. And after you unpacked it, you restart Steam. I just reloaded the whole console, uh, restarting Steam as well. And I got my Proton Speed hack in my compatibility layers. So let me just quickly show you what I was doing. Let me come out of my Chrome. I need Dolphin. So as you can see, root compatibility tools. Here I just unpack this folder, which is exactly this Proton Speed Hack. That's how it looks. As you can see, I have other G Protons there. I just unpacked it. After you unpack it like this, you didn't install, you don't need to install anything really. I did it through terminal, so maybe there are some specificities about it, but I don't know. Okay, so we quit Dolphin and now we can go into any game basically. So we just installed it. What do we do next? I'll show you as an example is Sea of Stars. We go to Seal Stars, uh, Cogbar, Settings. We go to Properties, Compatibility Layer. And here in Compatibility Layer, 
instead of G proton or proton experimental, which I use actually very often, uh, instead of it, I utilize proton speed hack. And once you choose it, it's basically a proton 8.0-5, uh, but with this speed hack functionality, which you turn on uh, inside the game as long as you hold page up button. The default speed up is 2.5, but actually you can tune it to your liking in readme files or config files. You can check the GitHub page readme file for more instructions. I think you could also tune it on game to ba game basis. For example, some games could be time x speeding up, but some games could be just like 1.5. So whatever you need it. I use it at 2.5 speed and for me universally it's more than enough. So what did I do? For Sea of Stars, I set up a custom controller scheme as I usually do. I didn't export it anywhere. I go to buttons in Sea of Stars and on my back button, on my L4, it's just a page up key. And that's basically it. So as, as soon as I hold page up key, the Proton Speed Hack kicks in and the game is being sped up which makes it extremely comfortable. Running around, this is the usual speed as you can see, and you die for example at some fight and you need to do it again and again, it really gets annoying very quickly. This back button here, Proton Speed Hack, and as you can see right now, I can I just hold it and everything happens 2.5 times faster. So whatever animation, whatever needs to be done, I just hold it, pam, 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 trees to trees, run around, come back run back like really fast and it's amazing and of course you could do it even faster but actually for me the default 2.5 times speed is is nice whenever right now i see a cutscene which i don't want to skip but i don't want to watch for too long like i want to watch it fast or a very long dialogue which is for whatever reason could be unskippable or something you know and here i just hold it and run and of course you can also make it toggle in this case you would just go to your controller and set something like we go to buttons, we go to page up key, we go to settings, and here we would just say toggle. And right now it's toggle, you know? Maybe I'll try playing like this as well. So right now it's toggled. I don't do anything, like as you can see, my fingers are out. I clicked it once and it's slow. I'll click it one more time right now. I hope you can see it once again. I would want to turn it off. I click it once, so I don't even need to hold it, and it's slow. But for now, I actually prefer hold instead of toggle, just because it gives me more granular control. Because I don't speed up this game all the time. I don't need to speed it up all the time. Toggle, turn it off. No, turn it off. That's it. You can do some of those controls, like in toggle or change a button or something, if you mess with the readme file of the speed hack proton, but I just don't need it. Like this is good enough for me. Works perfectly. I really enjoy it like this. It became a way more enjoyable game for me just because I don't need to hassle with like a slow speed of the game, which drives me crazy. For example, the Octopath Traveler on Nintendo Switch, I tried it and I was like, no, I don't want to. It's just too slow, too boring. I want to skip all of this boring stuff. I want to like do fun things, fun choices, but not watch the same anima animation again and again. I will say that this speed hack thing definitely works the best with single player games, especially if they don't have any weird launch launchers, any DRMs and whatnot. Because for example, I tried to launch it, I got Prey for free in Epic Game Store, so my Epic Game library got Prey. I had it installed from there and then later I just kind of customed it from here as properties and compatibility and force use uh, Proton speed hack like that and it didn't work and I think I cannot even launch it right now so either I need to reinstall it or something else. So launchers could be a little bit tricky if you use heroic launcher maybe you need to plug in like speed hack from there and whatnot. So for me it's just too much hustle. That's exactly the reason why I prefer DRM free GOG releases or any other releases which are DRM free if you know of them. I will show you though that if it's a Steam release like Black Skylands, purchased in Steam, and I go to Properties, Compatibility, Proton Speed Hack. It could, it could be a little bit weird when I launch it. So maybe you'll see that it's like jumping around. It, would, it could struggle a little bit. 
yeah, you can see like launches, launches, flick, 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 flicker, flicker, flicker. But yeah, I was able to run it like this. So let's check. Do I have it? Yeah, as you can see, page up key is for me L5 here. And yeah, whenever I click L5, it speeds it up. So it's working. As you can see, this is my normal speed of running around. But if I click L5, everything becomes 2.5 times faster. And of course, enemy also shoot 2.5 times faster. So it's just the game speed is fast. So if you need to wait for something, skip some animations, it would be perfect for stealth games, I believe. I didn't try it in intravenous, for example, but I would assume it would be perfect for that. This thing spins so slow and you like, speed it up, okay, go. Now you pass. Now I want to come back. Speed it up, okay, going back. Really nice. And commuting is also just not a chore anymore. Click, run around. So as you can see, yeah, a single player game, Steam version, Proton Speed Hack works. But it's not only simple 2D titles which are working like that. I also launched System Shock, and it's also set as a compatibility layer is a Proton speed hack. Page up on left trigger, I think. Left trigger. Okay, left trigger it is. So yeah, as you can see, like there is a spring button. If I click left stick, if I click and hold it, apparently there will be a sprint. Or I can just speed up the game speed with left trigger. You see? Or I could click sprint and speed up the game and then it would be really fast. I like it a lot. Of course enemies would be shooting faster at you as well, but that's just, if you need to commute, you don't need to spend, I don't know, one minute on it, you know, you can spend 20 seconds. Or you can really customize your speed and do it faster. Or for example, if it's a stealth thing and you wanna be stealthy, but you don't wanna spend too much time on it, like physically, you just stealth, you sit down, but you also hold the left trigger and you stealth with a speed which with you will be walking with the usual speed, you know? So right, right now I'm walking, I'm not speeding the game up and now I'm sitting down and I'm crouching and I'm moving slow, but then I speed the game up 2.5 times and it's my walking speed basically. It's awesome. <laughs> I like it a lot. I like it a lot. And that's basically it, yeah. So whenever you have a game, as you can see, like 3D games are also working quite well. I would assume if you would have a Elden Ring version with mods, because out of the box it may have weird compatibility, launchers, maybe mods will have some problems, I don't know. But if you would be playing Elden Ring offline, and you would make sure that Steam Update and something else is, is not ruining it every time you launch it, then I think this thing could work as well. You spawn an Elden Ring somewhere far, you just hold this button, quickly run to the boss fight, and fight with him, you know? And you don't need to commute, and I don't know, 30, 40 seconds. Saves a lot of time, and I think it's very useful. And I hope you guys will enjoy it, because I'm really enjoying it. Otherwise, for example, I would stop playing Sea of Stars already, due to the sheer fact of very cool animations, very good looking, and I'm using dialogues, but sometimes, it's just too slow for me. I don't like it. And this thing makes it very much playable and convenient and enjoyable. And yeah, whenever you don't need it, you just don't use it. And you play it as usual, you know. But then you need it and you're fast. Like a lightning. Once again, Proton Speed Hack. Download it from GitHub and pack it into the folder, which is written in a GitHub page. Make sure to restart Steam, then use it as a compatibility layer, Proton Speed Hack for any game you need to, especially if it's the DRM-free GOG release or something similar. And that's it. So, have a good one. Bye-bye.